This is dry ice, which is the solid form of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide does not have a liquid state under normal atmospheric conditions, so it turns directly from a solid into a gas as it is warmed. As it turns into a gas, it creates a little layer of gas underneath the dry ice, and so the dry ice can slide around kind of like a hockey puck on top of a layer of air. You may have noticed that there is some liquid on the table. That liquid is water. It results from the fact that water from the atmosphere in the form of water vapor has deposited on the very, very cold dry ice. If you look very closely at the dry ice, you can see some fuzzy crystals of water vapor that are now frozen in solid form. If I pick up a piece of this dry ice and drop it on the table, some of those frozen water crystals will fall off and then they melt on top of the table. And that's where the liquid comes from. When this dry ice is dropped into a beaker of water, it very, very rapidly sublimates, turning into a gas. It's obvious that the gas is more dense than air because of the way it's sinking. On a larger scale, it's quite impressive. Here we take some leftover dry ice and dump it into a sink full of water. Very large amounts of carbon dioxide gas are created, and that gas is more dense than the air around it.